Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Season 7 with me, a False Symmetry. And today I've been a very, very busy bee. I've cleared all of the trees behind my base in time for today's project. Which, to be honest, took a fair while. Because I finally decided that I am indeed going to make in this whole place back here, Warped Nyam. Yes, you heard it here first. There's no time for messing about, so let's just go ahead and roll that time lapse. an absolute age but we are here and um i guess it's been a little while because <laughs> after bone mealing of course some of these appear and they seem to have grown which is kind of cool actually i hadn't really thought too much about them or the actual uh i guess uh, leafy bits i don't know what that, i don't know what these are called little little seedy things what are they roots Roots. I hadn't really thought about the roots too much. There are a little bit too many of them. But of course, when you're bone mealing every block individually, uh, they seem to just pop up occasionally because you accidentally click the same block twice. Anyway, I haven't obviously got quite all of it done. I, I actually ran out of netherrack, so I do need to get some more netherrack. I thought I was going to be uh, even shorter than I was, so I'm actually quite happy with the... What was it? Eight? A shocker box is full of netherrack, so I think I did pretty well. And of course, this is quite a lot of bone meal also. I potentially might do these three islands over here, but again, gonna leave them for now. So my original plan for today's episode was to make this feel like an alien planet. Now, I think I've sort of done that in making this all nylium, but of course, other than that, I've done very little. I was hoping between last episode and next, or this one I should say, uh, I would come up with some foliage or some alien trees or something like that, And but, but, but I literally haven't. I've not done that at all. What I've instead done is come up with something far more exciting. And then what I will do is then build on that and do the foliage afterwards because it's going to be... Quite a large build we're going to be starting today. Don't know if we're going to be finishing it, but we're definitely going to be starting it. But as I've been just removing excess uh, plants, I guess, or roots from the area, I've been looking at these mushrooms that I've been picking up, these specific blue ones. I mean, I guess the red ones as well. And I was like, why on earth did I not just look at those for inspiration? Imagine one of these fairly large, just overgrown a little bit. That could be really cool. And then there could be loads of mini ones of these scattered around the floor. So that's definitely an idea for the future of this area. But I think for now, I need to go get a bunch of blocks together. A lot of grey themed blocks. But don't worry, the build itself isn't going to be as boring as grey. Because, yeah, this is going to be seriously crazy. So mentioning War of the Worlds, I think you guys probably know, if you know, what kind of thing I'm building. It's a little bit similar to the Roblox, and I think that might even be why I've been sort of inspired to build this. It's making me think that I kind of want a robot out here too. Um, like grabbing hold of this thing, or like standing over there, sort of walking towards... I don't know. I don't know if I can do that yet. The, the robots are, I think, quite a bit smaller than this. I haven't actually figured out what they what the height is of both of these things but anyway this thing is gonna go around here ish in fact i'm actually gonna i think mark the center so i can tell you guys where the body of this like four-legged mech i wish i knew what you know what i should really search what the things are called but yeah i'm i'm gonna be building a sort of i think they're like known as a tripod or a fighting machine 
or a three-legged walker. This one's going to have four legs, though. So, yeah, let me uh, mark the height. I need to go up. Oh, maybe about, oh, I don't know, 100 blocks or so. I'm at 72 now, so about 100, I think. Uh, uh, let's see. So this four-legged mech, which is what we're going to call it, just to just to save some confusion, is going to be started about here. I think it's going to be easier rather than building the legs first because they're going to be quite thin. I'm not really going to have to climb up them or anything. It's better me just working from the inside out. So what I'm going to do is build the basically the frame. It's going to be a sort of... Uh, more hexagonal because I was going to build it circular and my base is pretty circular so I wanted to make it seem very very different from my base and it's going to be mostly made out of stone and grey blocks. In fact let me go check those because I've got a, uh, a cool idea and this is something I've wanted to do for a long while so well, let me quickly show you it real quick. And what that is is that I've collected a whole bunch and these are not going to be in order but basically the plan with this build is to use multiple different grey blocks. So, for example, we're going to have basalt, we're going to have cobblestone, we're going to have stone, we're going to have andesite, we're going to have light grey concrete, a light grey wool, and light grey concrete powder, and then I think it goes something like this. I don't know, this is a rough estimate. But... If you see there, there is sort of a gradient. Now, it's not the perfect gradient. This block is very difficult to put in here, but I feel like this sort of blends in what's happening here to the more sort of gray tones. These are sort of a bit more yellow. But I think that when you're looking at it from far away, it gives a sort of nice gradient feel without being too intense. So that's what we're working with. So I'm going to try my best while building this thing to work with gradients as well. And I'm sort of going to be making it up as I go along. But that's the order I'm going with. Oh no, I've now just got one block of each in my inventory. This is not helpful. But basically, this is the color palette. It's going to be fun. And um, yeah, I think I need to start making the hexagonal bottom of this thing. So let's get started. So uh, things have been uh, pretty eventful. Uh, I have died. Uh, I basically accidentally AFK'd over here. Uh, logged on. Didn't have my uh, spawn set. And well, um, luckily I got all my stuff back. But it was a phantom and that got me. Oh my goodness, look at all the endermen down there. Four, well, three endermen. One, one vanished. But anyway, uh, this is what it's looking like right now. Uh, obviously you can see a lot of scaffolding had to be... Uh, uh, used because for some reason when I make these circular shapes ah um let's not <laughs> let's not die when I make the circular shapes I end up for some reason making them go downwards and they're, they're a pain to build so uh, I probably actually can get rid of these in fact I'm gonna mm, you know what let me get rid of the creepers real quick first because I don't really oh and uh, apparently the enderman too well he can't get me now so <laughs> So as I was saying before, I was really interrupted by the amount of mobs that <laughs> spawned down here. I'm, I'm just going to light it up a little bit wider because I think I might go a little tiny bit wider with this. But anyway, I'm going off sort of uh, something I have planned, of course, in single player because this scale is just insane and building it all from scratch on uh, multiplayer, well, um... It takes way more effort than, than, I, than I can give on the project so large. Right, let me get rid of this and we'll take a quick look. So looking up there gives a rough estimate of where we want the mech to be. Imagine four legs coming from those sort of square parts there, which is why they're a little bit different than the rest. Uh, as the frame goes with the greys, I'm not going to go too crazy with it. I'm going to keep it quite simple because I want the shape to really be the standout feature. And the shape already is looking pretty cool. I wonder what this thing looks like from above. Yeah, not very exciting, but that's going to be the interior. So that's going to look hopefully fancier once we decide where to go with that.
I can with this thing um, for now. I think we need to concentrate on the legs because let's just say I didn't quite plan for this to take just as long as it has taken to build. This has taken hours. It's actually day three of working on this thing. <laughs> um, so, you know, I gotta I got get the video done at some point. I went out this weekend. I mean, granted, it's only Wednesday, but but I, I would like to get this finished soon. Um, so, so yeah, legs are definitely next. Of course, it's lit up as well at the moment, just so that I can limit the spawns on top of it. Because, well, I don't want this thing just being full of creepers, of course. Uh, but just to show you a little bit of the detail, uh, the inside, of course, is, is just not done. Uh, like I say, can't do that today because it's going to take forever. And I don't know what the inside should look like yet. You guys can actually suggest down below. Uh, but yeah, uh, pretty much plain up here. I'm actually planning on putting some sort of laser weapon on the top of this. Because I feel like that would look kind of cool. Um... But if you got a better idea than that, then I'm up for that too. But yeah, generally speaking, it's it's pretty it's pretty just uh, it, it just just mech like. I I don't really know. It's not really got sort of a face or anything. It's just the same all the way around. This sort of same pattern. From some angles, it looks better than others. I feel like the sides look better than the diagonals. But hey, uh, what's nice about this as well though is I have made doorways into it uh so you can fly into this thing which i think is really really cool because uh if there's going to be like a command center in the middle it's going to be really fun to just fly into it there are i think some windows missing which i forgot to build should really put a glass in those but yeah like i say interior will be fixed up and looking nice uh, another day because <laughs> to have the time uh so yeah i guess legs are the next big thing so i guess i'm gonna go grab a whole bunch more resources because i am out i have been out of uh, polished and a site loads um i've got i've gone through shock boxes full of it so <laughs> so i need to go get my uh my my excess storage down in there i think because i've run out of andesite in my main storage oh dear well i've gathered up the items for the legs again we're going with gradient theme Diorite to wool to stone. I actually don't remember what order it's in. Whatever order. Anyway, doesn't matter. We'll get to that in a second. But I've just thought about my uh, future robot. This guy down here. If you haven't seen my last episode, please go watch it. I spent flipping ages on this. Um, although less time than what I've currently spent on the mech. And it doesn't even have legs yet. Can we see it from here? Oh my goodness. You know what? That scale is actually perfect. I want it to feel menacing. And that feels menacing even without legs. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So I do need to build one of them here. You can see I started on my feet in a stream and then panicked and couldn't actually recreate it very easily. It was going to take me 10 times as long. So I will build that another time. But I don't have the uh, quartz. I collected up a whole bunch of quartz just for that. And uh, I've already run out, but that failed. Uh, <laughs> already run out. So I'm actually going to head to the shopping district, have a quick poke around, maybe look at some other shops too, and a potential plot maybe that may be for sale um, over at Acqui. And um, yeah, see if Cubs have got any quartz for sale. I think he might have. As I guess, there is indeed quartz, which is one down per stack. You know what? I'm willing to pay that because i don't really want to go to the nether you know what? i'm actually gonna buy maybe one two three four one two three four one two three four yeah that's enough for three stacks so i'll go oh my goodness i'm spending this is why i don't have any diamonds um rip <laughs> he's only just logged on sorry i wasn't paying attention there uh, he's only just logged on and uh, he's died like instantly he said hi he then fell from a high place um <laughs> Oh dear. It's not it's not Ren's day either, is it? Anyway, let's have a look at Aqui. Now I know for a fact that there are some plots along here. Now I don't know if all of these sold. Yeah, this one's sold to Green. And I believe Corrales. So this one over here technically is uh empty. And um I've got my eye on it, so I guess we'll see what happens with that, perhaps, in the next episode. But, seems to be some sort of, like, thief or something, or some scallywag in there. You, or, or, or just Yoda. <laughs> How is there a, a, the pillager named Yoda in there? I don't understand. Anyway, there were definitely some new things built that I was going to check out, but I, I, I'll be honest, I keep getting lost in here, and I don't know what's what. Whoa, this is nice, though. 
Um, there's some diamonds in there. Are they for sale? Are they free? These, oh, it's a flower shop. No, you know what? Very nice. Very nice indeed. And of course, a fish shop, which is always something that I go for. So, a little bit sad, I'll be honest. A little bit sad that someone's already done that. No, no, uh, what did I call my fish shop last season? I forget, but no part two for the fish, apparently. That has already been taken, and uh, it looks like Azuma is a busy bee in here too. Sneak peeks. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I guess let's take that those resources back to base and uh, carry on with the mech. Uh, I'm glad we took uh, like a five minute break, uh, but now back to building an absolute monster, quite literally. So rather than doing the classic time lapse, I thought I would talk you through these a little bit and my thought process. Now I wanted to have a joint or two. I actually went with two here. I did a whole bunch of research on creatures that look like this or similar to this in Minecraft and outside of Minecraft. And I ba basically decided on going with the three segment sort of legs. So that technically if I make more of these or even with this one, I could basically make the legs at any different height I wanted. And that's what we did here. Well, that's two out of the four legs done. I've been looking closer at this and uh, where are these are going to land. I think this one should be. Hello, been interrupted by a witch. Um, should be coming down down here somewhere, so it shouldn't be an issue. But this fourth and final leg that I'm going to make here will hit about here. And I'm thinking, you know what? Just to give this thing a little bit more life, we're gonna probably move the joint a little, just a little bit up, not, not nothing too crazy. I was gonna like have one pointed outwards, sort of like a, like a, I don't know, a fang. It's not, it's not a fang, it's a leg, but you, you get the idea, pointing outwards. But um, no, I think I just want it to have like, it's foot up like here somewhere, like higher up. So I think, you know, moving this joint, this is why I added the joints as well, so that I could move each section individually. These three are fine being the same though, because they're all landing about the same height. So there shouldn't really be much change there. But yeah, this, this fourth and final one, I think we're going to do something different with it. But anyway, I'm going to just finish up all the legs, finish up everything I need to do on this, which is just those two things, I think. And then, um, yeah, uh, we'll leave the rest for another time, but fly me. This thing has taken hours <laughs> and uh, you can tell I've definitely um, failed to light up the whole area. I need more torches. Well, there we have it. Isn't she a beauty? I need to fix this leg up a little bit. I didn't quite realize the proportions and this part of the leg that is um, the concrete powder is far too big. So I'm going to have to move up those, but I'll, yeah, I'll do that another time. Basically, it, it's, it's pretty much finished the exterior of it is is done and i think it looks menacing i think it looks cool i'm so glad i did the legs like that wasn't sure if i were gonna was gonna do just like tripod legs or if i was gonna do these sort of more crab like legs oh dude when this got this has got like a big laser weapon on the top oh dude it's gonna look sick i'm actually very much looking forward to adding some more detail to this there are parts where it's quite plain like up here i'll probably add some um, glass panes and things like that, but I just need to get the structure in. I tried doing as much detail with this build of the structure because basically I could have just built it all out of uh, anisite polished stuff. But I, 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 I yeah, if, if I had done that, then I'd have to have gone up and down with scaffolding down the sides to add the windows and things like that. So where, where I can, I try and add the detail as I go. But yeah, this has uh, been a super fun project. Let me know, I guess, what you think. I am contemplating making a smaller version of this to sort of be down here, perhaps even be on the side of this tower that I'm going to be building. This tower is going to look very similar to sort of these ones. Uh, I think it's going to be more like this one uh, with just the one roof, perhaps, um, or maybe or maybe like this one. I haven't decided without that bit. The, the sort of double sort of small roof um area uh this is sort of meant to be a research center where this place is sort of built out here to research this planet now see now i built that this looks tiny <laughs> oh no the scale's all messed up now i don't i don't even know anyway let me know what suggestions you think for uh, foliage do you think I should do another smaller mech? What other things do you think they could be? 
Uh, I was thinking it could be fun this thing shooting down one of my mini drones, which are... Can you even see them? There's one there. There's also one over there. I'm talking like really far away. Uh, but it'd be really cool if there was like a mini swarm of drones just right in front. Just, just over there in the sky. And this weapon up here is just pointing directly at them shooting lasers. That could be kind of fun, right? I don't really think I want to build a plane or anything too crazy for these guys. So, I don't know. Now I've got a bit of a versus situation. These guys in here versus this guy. So, I, I don't know. What, if, you, if you're into law, feel free to write some law down below. I'll pick my favorite and perhaps roll with that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. The law keeps changing here as I'm building my base, which is kind of exciting. Uh, but I'm actually loving this guy. So, hopefully you guys do too. Anyway, there's one thing left to do, and that is update the map. So that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna fly over here, update things, see what the terrain looks like being all blue, as well as what the mech looks like. And of course, right now, it doesn't look perfect. Oh, wait, I've missed a bit there. There we go. Get those trees out of the way. Uh, go around here, and then I need to do this side, of course, which is where the mech comes in. Look at that. Wow, blimey. Okay, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool indeed, and there's a little bit here as well. Cool, I think if I go over here, maybe this is here? Is this here? Yeah, that one on the right is there. Sweet! Dude, that actually looks pretty sick. Not gonna lie. You know what, I want to see what it looks like up here though, with the rest of the map. Wow. Yeah, I mean... That looks pretty cool. I mean, this area is large, isn't it? Once, Once I've got that bit up there... It's gonna look pretty crazy. I definitely am thinking these three here, now that I've separated them from the greenery up there, these need to be the Nihilium, don't they? They just have to be. Inside that, that is gonna be, it doesn't matter because that's the inside of a tower. And then I'm like, do I make this Nihilium too? I'm, I'm very tempted to make this bit Nihilium and then that will separate this whole section here as my base, which is a, a large, very large section. How many maps is this? One, two... One, two, three, four, five maps by four maps. That's... That's crazy. <laughs> would help if I put them back in the right position though, wouldn't it? But yeah, I'm very, very happy with that. I, I guess it doesn't look as cool from there, but it definitely looks very, very different than the rest of my base, which is pretty sweet. Anyway, uh, like I mentioned, this has taken me three days. So I have to wrap the video up here. If I if I work more on this, then it's going to just take me forever and there won't be a video this weekend. But yeah, hopefully next weekend we'll hopefully do something maybe inside there. Who knows? I'm excited though to work on it some more in that area as a whole. But guys, thanks so much for watching. Leave a like if you didn't enjoy, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys all in the next episode. See ya! When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.